In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at different platforms where you can get additional resources from. Whether it's a video, image, or GIF, sometimes the stuff you find in uh, the stock media menu may not have what you're looking for. In today's lesson, we're going to look at some popular platforms where you can get additional resources. In this lesson, we're not going to take a look at film stock. We will cover film stock in another lesson. But instead, we are going to look at some other platforms. Let's head over to our browser. The second platform is Pexels. Most of you may be familiar with this. It's a really popular platform. It's similar to Pixabay in terms of free resources, and it comes with a lot of options. Let's search for dog. And again, I have many filters to choose from. You can find related topics up here. Choose whether you want an image, a video, or you're looking for users that have dog in their name. We also have filters, orientation, whether you want it to be horizontal or vertical, the size of your image. You can also search based off color. So you would enter the hex code of a color and just select any of the presets if you'd like. And they're going to show up with this exact blue. Let's try to get another hex code. I will search for pure white. And there we go. I have pure white in all of these images. Let's head back. And this was photos. You can also choose videos. Let's close the filters. You have the orientation again and the size. For videos, you don't have that color search option. If you bring your uh, cursor on any of these, it will preview the video for you. So you can view the video without going into it, and this is pretty helpful. You can see who the video is by, maybe follow them or download the video for your um, purpose. You can save this to a library or like the video. Let's download this. And there we go. Let's click away. And this was Pexels. On to our next platform, we have Pixabay, which is also available in Filmora's stock media menu right here. So if you couldn't find something that you're looking for and maybe you'd like to use some of the filters, you can head over to the Pixabay browser. And here you have more filter options. Let's search for flower. And over here we can choose, we have more options for filtering. You can sort them out by latest, upcoming, popular, and editor's choice. You can choose what type of media you'd like to use. The orientation, the size, you can type in a dimension if you'd like. And we also have the option to search by color. So let's search this green. And there we go. I'm getting images that have green in them. Let's head over to video. And for video, we have the same sorting options. But here you can choose whether you'd like an animation, slow motion, or a time lapse. They are labeled by either 4K or HD. Remember that 4K is larger than HD and it has more quality. You can turn on safe search if you'd like to exclude inappropriate images. And to download images, um, just like Pexels, I can go over them to see a preview, and then I can click over it to download my media. Choose the uh, resolution. 
I think I'll stick with 720 pixels. I can view the quality and then download it. There we go. Let's explore our next platform, and that is Envato Elements. This is another popular platform where you can get tons of items, such as stock footage and motion graphics. We have video templates, which this also doesn't have Filmora in it. You can choose music tracks, sound effects, graphic templates, and other items, but if you're using Filmora at the moment, you would want to stick with stock video, music, sound effects, photos, and fonts. The rest of these are meant for other platforms and other purposes. Let's head over to music, music tracks. Over here, I can listen to different songs and see the duration of them. We have different tracks for this. You can add it to a collection or download it. You can filter it by the genre. The mood of the music. If you'd like multiple moods, you can hit the include on one of them and the exclude on another. There we go, you can include multiple moods at the same time. And then we have instrument. We have the categories, which is music tracks for now. You can search between music tracks, different categories. Whether you'd like a vocal or not, background vocals, lead vocal, male, female, or no vocals. You can look for different tempos. Look for a certain length. And look for different properties. Once you have chosen something, you can download but for Envato Elements, you would need an account. So if you're going to use this platform a lot, I would recommend getting it. It's a really nice platform with many options available. If you're looking for sound effects, but would rather get it for free, you can head over to freesound.org. Here we can see different sounds, preview the sounds by pressing this button. And if we liked something, let's search for something first birds, we're going to get many sound effects that has birds in it. You can view them here, the duration, and then just open it in a new tab to download it for your video. There we go. Once you have downloaded everything you need, you can head over to My Media and import them as usual. And I can go ahead and use all of these for my project. So those were some examples of places where you can get additional resources. There are tons more out there, but these are the ones that are quite popular nowadays. You can explore for other platforms. As you saw, some of them are for free, some of them are paid. So based on that, you could just choose any platform that you'd prefer. Now let's move on to the next lesson where we're going to learn more about Filmora's tools.